my story starts at 17 as a freshman in college. I showed up on campus uh, to my school um, already injured. I had Tommy John surgery, which was a complete elbow reconstruction. And with an injury and having to do rehab, I unfortunately had a lot of free time uh, on my hands and gambling quickly became part of the culture. And in the very beginning, like everybody, I lost. But when my friends were able to walk away and be okay with it and kind of laugh and giggle, it, it ate at me. I was kicked out of our, of our weekly dorm room game and was no longer able to play because I was too intense. As I was playing online poker, my roommate started to join in as well. I opened up his laptop, I signed into his online poker account, and I started playing at night with him sleeping 20 feet right next to me. I played and played and played until his account went to zero, and he quickly called a team meeting um, as a freshman to inform the team that something went wrong. He had suspicions that something happened, but they didn't have any evidence. The team quickly pointed the finger at me because I was his roommate. I paid him his $300. He moved out of my dorm room and nothing was ever said again. But my life quickly became consumed by gambling. My junior year, I moved out. After three years of playing at my college, I was drafted and had the opportunity that every kid playing Little League Baseball dreams of. I was able to go play professionally. So once I got to a team, I quickly found out that not only was gambling a part of spring training culture, but gambling was a part of the team culture as well. I had everything that I wanted and it just wasn't good enough because my mind was solely on gambling. My depression and anxiety quickly spiraled and one night I decided that the only way that I was going to get out of this situation, the only way that everything was going to be good is if I wasn't living anymore. I finally came clean to my best friend first who was there with an empathetic ear. He understood, he vowed to do anything he could to help me, and I really appreciate that. And eventually, through all of that time, I came clean to friends, family, my wife, everybody, and started on the path to recovery. And I truly hope that my story will help somebody out there not get to the level that I was at, recognize something in themselves or somebody else, and just reach out for that lending hand and say it's okay to not be okay I'm here to help if you want to talk. I'm here if you need me and there is no judgment because that is ultimately what it took from multiple people and from a realization within myself. And I am so very thankful. I have the support system around me of my friends, of my family and of my wife to be able to lend to helping hands because I can sit here now and help somebody else.